Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh yeah, I made myself a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Do astronauts eat peanut butter jelly sandwiches in space? Here's a pretty cool place. This is sort of like in your house where everybody meets in the morning. Uh, after you wash your face, brush your teeth, you want to find something for breakfast. And this is our kitchen. You might notice there's all sorts of foods here. Uh, it's like opening the refrigerator. You got all your different stuff that you want to have. Drinks, meats, eggs, vegetables, cereals, uh, bread, uh, snacks. And that's a good place. That's where you find all the candy. Uh, side dishes and then some little power bars just in case. So we have all this type of food. Some of it is dehydrated. And so we have to hydrate it, fill it up with water. Some of it is all ready made. And then all we have to do is heat it up. So something like this, I'm pulling out barbecued beef brisket. Pretty yummy. Not only is this food made in the US, but we also have food here from Japan. Uh, we've got Russian food. As you can see, all these red containers are filled with food that's from Russia. Um, and then we get some of our specialty stuff, some things that we like, some of our favorite stuff that your family can send up. In fact, I like fluffernutters, and so I got sent up some fluff so I could make my fluffernutter with peanut butter. So you have a lot of food up here, no problems. So back on Earth, they dehydrate the food. That means they take out all the water and it makes it very brittle and very hard like rocks. Water is pretty heavy, so if you take out the water, you make it lighter and you make it easier to shoot up in space. And then when they're in space, they can add back however much water they need. Mmm, squishy yummy. Here's astronaut Chris Cassidy. He's gonna be eating his food. Now astronaut Shane is gonna show us how to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich in space. Uh, every time we eat, it's kind of fun. Uh, everything will float around if you don't manage it. So we have some tape to stick things on on our table here, as well as a bunch of Velcro. All right, so the first thing we need for our sandwich is a piece of bread. Well, up here we don't have bread like you do on Earth, but we have tortillas. So we use tortillas a lot for uh, sandwiches. So that's what I'm gonna use for my peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna stick that down to some tape here so it doesn't go floating away while I'm getting everything else ready. So I'll get my peanut butter out, and uh, even the lids on the peanut butter have a piece of Velcro on it so they don't go floating away. If I let it go, it'll kinda of just float there um, for a little while, and then eventually the, the air conditioning system in here will take it away somewhere else. So I don't wanna lose it. Um, so I'm gonna stick it on the table. I'll scoop out some peanut butter for my sandwich. I gotta stick this somewhere, otherwise it just goes floating away too. But just for now, if it's just a few seconds like this, I can just leave it and let it float. I'll spread the peanut butter on my sandwich into the tortilla. And then I get my jelly ready. Looks like you're juggling in space. It's a lot of things you gotta think about and manage while you're, while you're eating up here. Thinking about how to juggle your food. And you just spread the jelly on the sandwich. That as well needs to get uh, attached to the table. So there's my peanut butter and jelly tortilla or sandwich. From up here, I'll just kind of close it up and enjoy. Let's see if you guys can enjoy it as it's coming to you. All right, you ready? We're gonna eat it. <sighs> Astronaut Karen, what's for dessert? Strawberry shortcake. Oh. We have these butter cookies and some strawberries with a little bit of milk on top. Chris, I'm gonna make one for you right here. And here's your strawberry shortcake, ready for you, Chris. Oh, excellent. Doesn't that look yummy? But it looks different than mine, and that's because I'm using normal bread. You might use white bread. <laughs> I like the healthy stuff. But astronauts use space tortillas. And space tortillas are very special tortillas that make almost no crumbs. Now you see all the crumbs on my plate that my sandwich makes? <laughs> all those crumbs in space, they don't fall down to the plate because there's no gravity to pull it down. So the crumbs float all over and they get in your eyes and your ears and your nose and ooh, it's not good. So they have to have special space tortillas that make almost no crumbs and then you don't have the crumb problem. 
boom, done. So when I eat food, where does it go? It goes in my mouth. And then my body takes all that food energy and converts it into body energy. So I, then I can run and I can jump and I can dance and I can do science stuff on my computer, whatever I wanna do. And the same goes for, for astronauts. But then when I use up all the energy, there's still matter left over. And that has to go somewhere. So it condenses, <laughs> it gets brown and smelly. <laughs> That's right. So the leftover stuff is the poop. Usually we poop in a toilet and it flushes down. All plumbing uses gravity. So there's no gravity, so there's no plumbing. How do they poop in space? Where does a poop go? It doesn't float around. <laughs> Let's find out in part five.